This freestyle fighter stands five foot seven, weighed in 139 pounds. He holds a professional record. Four wins, three defeats, with one win coming by way of knockout, two by way of submission. Representing Pariah MMA in fighting out of Colorado Springs, Colorado, by way of Oxnard, California, Jaime Hernandez. Is opponent across the octagon, fighting out of the red corner. Is a freestyle fighter, standing five foot ten, weighed in 139.4 pounds. He holds a professional record: six wins, two defeats, with one win coming by way of knockout, five by way of submission. Representing Factory X and fighting out of Inglewood, Colorado, by way of Casablanca, Morocco, Yusuf, the Moroccan Devil Zala. The referee, Tom Johnson. Expect a clean, fair fight. Listen to me all times and protect yourself at all times. Let's touch gloves and get after it. LFA catch weight of 140 pounds for this one. Jaime Hernandez, the 34-year-old, taking on the 23-year-old Yusuf Zalal. Zalal in the red tape and trunks. Hernandez, blue tape, black and white shorts. Tom Johnson is the third man in the LFA octagon. Oh, calf kick. Starting on that leg early. Jaime with the big overhand right missing. So all saying, I want you right here in the middle of the octagon. So all on his way to moving down to Bantamweight. Fighters agree to a 140 catch weight. Gradually working his way down to 135. Low kick from Hernandez. Hernandez says, it's a long 75 inch reach. I gotta be careful, pick my shots and get inside. Calf kick again, sorry. Wants to use his wrestling and grind out a win. Zalal said his plan, he knows that Hernandez will shoot. There's a kick just missed. Zalal feels he can finish him here in the first round. Beating that leg up off his jab. Really doing a good job of establishing that jab. I don't care what anybody tells you. Jab's very important in MMA. Zalal still going to work on that lead leg. There's the shoot-in takedown attempt by Hernandez. Hernandez needs to lead with hands before he throws those kicks. Messing with that overhand right. Hernandez throwing some bombs. Former D1 wrestler at Cal State Fullerton. Some training with former UFC champ TJ Dillashaw. Oh! Oh! Over and out! Yusuf Zolo! Walk off knockout! Jump switch knee. Landed squarely on the face. Wow. Welcome back to the winner's circle, Yusuf Zalal. Hernandez is awake. That was a that, that was as pretty flying knee as you're ever gonna see. Beautiful flying knee. Jaime Hernandez getting back up on his feet. The sadistic. Boys in the truck want to show us this over and over and over again. That's their job. And here we go. Backs him up against the cage, throws the head kick. Perfect. He was reading Hernandez. Hernandez was ducking. Freezing. Can't do that, man. When people leave their feet, you have got to get moving. You cannot stay in the same place. 
square yes. out. Yes, highlight reel, need to finish this fight. Great job by Tom Johnson getting in there, and what a shot by our crew. Beautiful Dean job Hewitt. grabbing the back of the head, landing the knee, and then shoving him, just face palming, palming him and throwing him down on his back after the knee. That's like a stiff arm in football, that's, that's old called, school. That's called insult to injury. <laughs> Indeed, what a win for the 23-year-old Yusuf Zalal. If you don't know his story, he left Morocco, came here to the U.S., couldn't get his green card to go back and see his family for over 10 years. He just did that after his fight at LFA 57, and he is back. Let's get the official time now from Mike Kendall. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Tom Johnson calls a stop to the fight in just two minutes, 15 seconds into the very first round, declaring your winner by knockout, Yusuf the Moroccan Devils along. Nice sign of respect from the fighters, 23-year-old Yusuf Salal. Pat, I would say the kid is back. He has. That was a great, great win for him. Now he's got that confidence. He's got two wins in a row, building himself back up. Talented young man. Just got to stay focused. Started kickboxing in Morocco. His mom enrolled him so he'd stay out of trouble. Took his first kickboxing fight when he was only 11. And what a win for Yusuf Salal. Everybody loves a good knockout. Unless you're on the receiving end of one, Pat. Then it's not so much fun. That's, that's not the highlight reel you want to be on the end of, not at all.